listening to the special simulcast the Neil Haley show in the Love is Podcast. I'm excited to welcome the host of Love is Podcast, Kim Sorrell. Kim, how are you? And I know you're excited about our guest. I am excited about our guest, Neil, very much so. Babs Olusan Mokin from Nigeria, a country that is on the top of my bucket list, a country that I desperately want to go to, but living in New York City, I believe. Babs, you are on fire. You are in Star Trek, Strange New World, Dune, and now you've got this new project coming out, Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. You are a black belt in jujitsu. You have uh, videos I've seen on how to eat. You're you're just everywhere doing everything, and I am a huge fan. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I have no idea who that guy is that you just described. Oh, my God. What? Isn't like, he oh. wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Babs, that's, that's, that's the crazy thing. Did you ever think this was going to happen to you? when you started in acting? Uh, I very much, in a way, yes, because I very much, uh, I was very passionate about the work, and I had a drive about me, and, you know, I knew, like, yeah, even if I got off the path here and there, I was, I was always sort of focused that that was my life goal, you know, that might be silly to some, but that's really what I wanted. And, um, yeah, and I just kept fighting forward, you know, and somehow I am sort of getting somewhere. <laughs> sort of getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah, well, sort of getting somewhere is sort of getting somewhere big. And everything you do, though, you seem to go full on from, from the outside looking in. It looks like you just give it your mm -hmm. all in every single role. Is that how you feel you you go after things? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think uh, it's a privilege to do what I do and to try and have, a, you know, a career in the arts and something that, you know, people dream of and, you know, storytelling, trying to inspire people, trying to, you know, entertain people. I think it's a real gift and therefore it's something I would never take for granted and I would never yeah I love it I love it dearly and um so I do it with all my heart and uh and especially when it comes to screen you know this is something that is it stays there forever it's uh its own version of immortality you know so I never want anybody to be watching me and thinking this guy is just throwing in this in or you know um yeah some, you know, if I if I was listen, if I was cleaning the streets, I would be cleaning the streets to the best of my ability. You know, I just think that's how one must approach. You know, the things we do. So yeah, definitely. And I would, uh, Babs. I'm going to go to Kim on this. Kim, I mean that he, that blows me away. That's exactly how everyone needs to take their job every day. If they did that, they'd enjoy their job more, Kim. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's absolutely true. Is it, does that come from your upbringing? Is that something your parents instilled in you, or where's that come from? Perhaps I, probably, probably from my dad. I, I I imagine from my dad. You know, my dad was a guy that was like, uh, I want to travel for work, so I will learn French and uh, apply at the foreign service. Uh, you know, in Nigeria, and then. Maybe a year later or so, they call him back, and and then boom, he's doing that, you know. And uh, yeah, so he definitely always pushed, and I and I I think even as a child, I sort of tended to take on responsibility, and um, you know, I'm my own biggest critic, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, so so yeah. I, I, I think that would be a big part of it. You know? I'm, I'm my own worst critic too, watching myself and uh, all the different things I do. And now I'm getting involved in movies. Now it's crazy. I pinch myself to think where, where I would be. Uh, let's talk about your latest project ministry of ungentlemanly warfare. Tell us about the premise of the movie and your character. Okay. So this is a film that is specifically based on one mission or is based on one or it's based on one specific mission by the Special Operations Executive Unit, which was a covert unit created by Winston Churchill. And he did this unbeknownst to his uh, war cabinet. Uh, they wanted to keep fighting uh, 
Hitler and Nazi Germany uh, in a gentlemanly way, quote unquote. Uh, but he realized quickly, without the help of the United States yet, uh, which hadn't gotten into the war, uh, he realized that this war needed to be fought uh, in an ungentlemanly way. And he therefore created this unit. And uh, so this mission is about destroying resupply ships that were based on the island of Fernando Po, which is off the coast of West Africa. Uh, not too far from Nigeria, actually. And this island was run by the Spanish, Italians, and you had Nazis floating around and, you know, throwing their weight around there. And Richard Heron, my character, is a guy looking at the long game, and he's there on the ground, and he's, he's built this, he's created this casino uh, bar, and... Uh, got this import-export thing going on, and he's doing it at such a level uh, that, you know, some Nazis depend on him, you know, in moving things to them, because regardless of the war, some of these guys were there just to steal, just to make money, right? So he was making, he was helping them with different kinds of things. So, uh, but unbeknownst to them, of course, um, he was just setting them up for the fall. Wow. So Richard Harris is a spy, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it's so interesting because it's a story that, that I've never heard. I think a story that's not really been told. Yeah, in, in, in reality, these the files on this mission were only declassified uh, by the British in 2018. Wow. That's wow. crazy. Yeah. yeah, that is, that is, yeah. Did you I, actually shoot um, there, or, or where did where was the film shot? No, we 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 we, we actually shot in Turkey. You know, we took over we took over a harbor, and uh, and actually they built a harbor, I should say, uh, on the coast in Turkey, and it was beautifully done. It was literally all these buildings were built just for it, and it was like a little town uh, by by the water, and they brought these ships in. Um, it was a lot of work, a lot of work, uh, production, production design, like these, just all these amazing craftspeople that, that build these things. You know, you see us on screen, but all the stuff around it is this amazing level of detail. And uh, yeah, so just an amazing production all, all, all around. Now, Kim, I think you know there's love in what he does. Kim, real quick question for love to finish up. Yeah. So Babs, I, I wrote a book about love. I spent a year trying to figure out the true meaning of love. And so love is kind of my gig. It's pretty important to me. And and I always feel like, you know, love is everything everywhere. And But it's different things to different people. And so I am curious, you know, where does love play a part for you in, in what you do and in your life in general? I mean, love is, you know, love is family. And uh, love is in what I do because... I made the conscious decision to make sure I did something that I love to do. You know, even when I was doing a lot of jujitsu and teaching jujitsu for many years, uh, I made sure I loved it in the moment uh, because in teaching it, I have to pass it on to others. And so I, I made sure I loved it and I respected it. And um, and that's how I approach acting in my career. I love it and I'm deeply in love with it wherever it takes me. You know, um, I'm not the casual guy. I'm not around just to be around. Um, and if that's all I do, I'm grateful for it. Fantastic. Check out the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare uh, will be in theaters on April 19th and Star Trek Strange New Worlds catch up and we'll find out what happens with season three. Thanks, Babs, for coming by. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you guys You're so welcome. much for having me. All right, that was a special simulcast of the Neil Haley Show on the Love is Podcast, guys. Take care.